guys, Shauna Cohen here, Holistic Skin Care Therapist, and today we're talking about sunscreen. So you may not realize this, but the majority of your sun exposure happens when you're walking to work, when you're driving in your car, and so it's really important to wear a daily sunscreen. But often finding the right one that you love is hard to find. So today I'm going to talk about sunscreens that work for your skin type and your skin tone. First off, these are two great choices to try if you have dry skin, mature skin, or someone who's just looking for that everyday sunscreen. These will give you that really dewy, creamy look, very hydrating, very moisturizing, my personal favorites, and it's great even to mix with a foundation or use as a tinted moisturizer. For oily skin, the Kula Matte Mineral Sunscreen is a great option, or if someone has acne or congestion. It's great because it's really mattifying, it's not going to be overly heavy for someone who has that oily skin, and it also has no ingredients that are going to be really clogging or congesting the skin. For someone with sensitive skin, it's really important to avoid chemical filters. So these are ingredients like avobenzone, oxybenzone, and these ingredients can be really irritating for the skin. So a mineral sunscreen is a really great choice. It's also great to choose a formula that doesn't have any additives, fragrance, and really soothing, gentle ingredients. So the Cocoon Apothecary Reflector Sunscreen is a great option to choose for someone with sensitive or irritated skin. For a body sunscreen, you want to look for something that is preferably water resistant. Most likely you're going to be wearing your body sunscreen when you're out in the pool or the beach, and so you want something that's going to protect you when you're out in the water. You also want something that's going to feel good and not feel chalky and overly greasy, and it's going to blend in really well. So the Think Sport body sunscreen is a great option. It's SPF 50, blends in really well, and feels great on the skin. fair skin, you want a sunscreen that's going to blend in really well, that's not going to leave a dark tint on your skin. And so something that has a light tone or has no tint at all is going to work best. The Kula sunscreen has no tint, so this will blend in really well for your skin and actually doesn't leave even a white tinge. And the Perfect sunscreen has a very light tint, but it blends in really well for fair skin. For darker complexions, one of the main problems is that using a mineral sunscreen can often leave you a little bit white tinge. And so finding a sunscreen that has a darker tint to offset the white is going to be your best bet. You can also find a sunscreen that has no whitening effect whatsoever, which is a little bit harder, but something like the Bear Republic sunscreen is a great option. For darker complexions that want a tint, the Kula BB Cream is also a great option that has it in a dark and medium to skin tone. If you had a little too much fun in the sun, you're going to want to take care of your skin. And so using ingredients that are going to help nourish, moisturize, and counteract the damage are really important. Two things that you can use are vitamin C serum. You can use that after you've had too much sun or even before you go out in the sun to really counteract the sun's dangerous rays. You can also use a oil like rose hip oil that's really high in fatty acids. It's going to help moisturize, nourish, and also high in vitamin C to counteract that sun damage. So hopefully I've given you a few options for you to try. Test out what you like, try a few different products, and let us know what you like in the comments below.